Watch this video until the end and listen to this important message. When I received a comment from a viewer, she mentioned an interesting technique. She recommended writing down your worries or problems on a sheet of paper and placing it under a glass of water. However, she was confused because some people say to use one sheet of paper for each problem, while others suggest using just a single sheet. I have come across this tool in some books, but it was never presented as a bonus technique. According to the technique, the writing should be based on age. If one's life has been disastrous, it should be documented in a diary and eventually burned. However, some argue that it is enough to simply throw it away. The purpose of these tools is to eliminate the burden of memories that cause pain, whether they are all-encompassing or not. By acknowledging that something is wrong, one implies that there is something that can be done about it. Thus, the suggested actions will work because the mind is already prepared for them. One just needs a guide to address the problem. Now, let's talk about the water aspect. Assuming that the water technique will work for you is not guaranteed. It is believed that water catalyzes the energies present in the environment, which can be easily tested. For example, when you eat a meal that is blessed, you will notice a sense of calm afterward. I personally experience this every day. However, there was an occasion when I didn't say the blessing before eating at a different place. Everything seemed fine until about 30 minutes later when I suddenly felt agitated. To prevent any harm, I removed myself from that situation and poured a glass of water instead. So, to summarize, the paper and its writing are likely to be small enough to fit under the glass. However, just because the glass has the ability to remove negativity from the internal or external emotional state doesn't mean you need to remember the contents of the paper. It's about eliminating what the writer believes should be eliminated. When you put your feelings into writing, the glass acts as an amplifier, enhancing the potential for direct effects at a specific point. I must admit that it makes some sense because if you observe the glass of water closely, it resembles a magnifying glass. This implies that if you place the writing face up, the glass will fulfill its purpose by amplifying its effects. However, it can work anywhere or even have a dual effect by amplifying the problem while simultaneously eliminating it. But what if the emotional impact of amplifying the problem is not as significant as expected? I believe this approach is simply a combination of two problem-solving methods. I'm not suggesting that they are ineffective or wrong, but it's preferable to have a clear understanding of what one is doing, especially based on my studies. There are various methods, and I encountered the paper technique in a Japanese form about 15 years ago. However, at that time, I didn't consider it necessary, as I was seeking knowledge without requiring proof. I must admit that it has some common and logical sense to claim that writing helps to erase memories, as what is written can be discarded or burned. Although I don't believe it's a definitive solution, it ultimately depends on each person's preference. So, the question remains, is it worth putting the paper under the glass of water before responding? It's worth considering for those who wish to try it. These are emotional tools that can be effective, but not all are readily accepted by the subconscious. Therefore, everyone should conduct their own tests, especially when practicing Ho'oponopono. The glass of water acts as an amplifier and enhancer of your mental activities, particularly powerful affirmations. Remember, everything is mental, but only your subconscious can determine which approach aligns with your mental frequency. So, before utilizing any emotional tools or techniques, take a moment to think and meditate. Begin with your heart and intuition. If you don't feel a connection, it's crucial to explore other processes. Only then can you determine what might work for you. Prioritize understanding before taking action. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. And remember, not all techniques is are beneficial for everyone, so choose wisely. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.